we've got rid of the gray and the grid lines. That's excellent. Now what I want to do is I like how the temperature is reflected in a gradient of color, but it would be nice if that wasn't very dark blue to light blue. I'd like it to go from cool colors being blue to warm colors being red, for example. So let's see how do I change the color so it reflects um, cool is blue and hot is red, right? So what we can do is take the code that made this graph and copy it down. And then we just add another layer. So to change the color, you can set the scale color gradient. And in this case, I want um, to set the low equals blue and high equals red. Right. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so that makes it really nice to see, really easy to see that actually these very high values um, happen to be on very rainy days where the temperature is cool, but there are some reasonably high values where there is no rain, but the temperature is very hot. So there might be an interaction going on here. All right, so the other way to change color is by using palettes. So there is a package called R Color Brewer that I'm not sure, I think maybe it just comes with ggplot, but just in case it doesn't come with ggplot, let's see if we can install it. So we'll, in our console, um, we'll go install that package. Oh, color through it. Oh, interesting. Maybe it's a big C. Ah, oh, hang on a second. Let's see. Color. There we go. Oh, you know what? I'm spelling it wrong. Right? So when you know that a package is called something and um, you're obviously doing something wrong, I'm spelling it Australian with a U and it's actually Color Brewer American, right? So it's um, uh, Color Brewer. There we go. And then we'll add it at the top of our script to our libraries. And these again. All right. So when you want to um, use a palette um, for setting colors, um, the uh, color bro, you can see all the palettes that. Um, it has available by just calling display brewer all. If you run that load, that line of code, it will show you in your plot window, all of the palettes that are available. So if you zoom out on that, you can see that there are some that go from light to dark and some that um, are, have colors that are just easily distinguishable and others that go from blue to red, cool colors to warm colors. So in setting a palette for temperature data, I would probably choose this one that's called RDYLBU. So red, yellow, blue. All right, so what I'm gonna do is copy this code that made our plot again. And then instead of using um, the color gradient, 
This time I'm going to change this and use the colored distiller. Now, of course, this is the kind of thing that I only know this because I Googled it two minutes ago, right? That you don't, you don't, nobody, not even really expert uh, users remember what situation you would use color gradient versus when you need to use color distiller. I did learn that color distiller when you're using palettes is good when you have continuous, you want a continuous gradient. Um, and if you want to pick one of these palettes to color bars, different colors, so you've got discrete, um, discrete, you want the colors to stay discrete, then you use scale color brewer. So I don't remember that. I only know that because I Googled it two minutes ago. So in this case, we want to use color disc dealer, and then you just say you want to use the palette equals and the one we were talking about is R D Y L B U. All right, let's see what that looks like. Aha, great. So the cool temperatures are blue, and the and it is a continuous gradient to the hot temperatures are red. Excellent.